Mahalo, y'all, and welcome back to Diamond City. Never heard Starship sing about that one. We built this city on precious gemstones. Must do wonders for the property values. And that's why Wario lives here! It's called Diamond City! He thought he was gonna find treasure! I just blew my own mind! I love it when you find connections like that. Anyways, <coughs> today we're going to be tackling Ashley, a fan favorite character, and I'm not entirely sure why. Well, I kind of have a theory. You ever notice how Nintendo fans seem to be predisposed towards the twisted little bastards? I mean, I like Wario a hell of a lot more than I do Mario. A lot of people seem to like Ashley. Hell, in the new Fire Emblem game, everybody's favorite character seems to be Henry, with Tharja being a close second. <laughs> Myself included. He's just a... Oh, he's just so male... Ma maleficent? I... I... no, mag... He's magnificent, that's for sure. Maybe that's the word I was going for. Magnificently twisted. Yeah, blood! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Oh, what's another great one? My body's pulsing with energy! I wonder if I'll explode! You just know he's saying it like that, too. He's all excited about the prospect. And his very next thought is, I better go stand next to a lot of people so I kill as many individuals as possible. Hey guys, you wanna go get pizza? <laughs> yeah, there's pizza in the Fire Emblem times. <laughs> Go now order some fast food. Uh, yeah, I'll have ten chicken McNuggets <laughs> with, with a diet crom. Uh, hey, Noe, you want anything? Nah. <laughs> Let's play the damn game. The thumb refused. Hold the form of Tom vertically and rest your thumb on the top of it. The noblest of athletes, the thumb must learn to his years of training before mastering this pose. So yes, this is our new form here, or at least one of them. The Thumb Wrestler. I can't and I'll tell you what, I've wanted to do that to quite a few of my cell phones in the past. Of course, my family was signed up with AT&T for a while, so... You can imagine... How do you grade up a provider? I'm trying to create a mental image of that. Uh -oh. discard. Place the form baton face down on a stable surface, like an unwanted, but still treasured... It's not very stable, but if I want to keep it on camera, I have to leave it here. the form baton again until the proper time. But what's the proper time? What's the proper time? You didn't tell me that! Oh! That's right. Dude! Did you hear that? I'm not sure if that picked up on the camera. Somebody yelled, HELP! HELP ME! Dude! Dude, where are you? Let me know, I'll call the cops! I'll call someone! Hey, NASCAR! <laughs> Sorry, that's all I got for that one. Well, where else do you think somebody would wear shirts with pock- one-piece denim jumpsuits with pockets on the front like that? The big cheese. With the form baton at your hip, force your chest and hips forward. This dance honors the CEO, one soon hero standing proud on the backs of his employees. Yep, that's me! Proud co-founder of Team Pizza. <sighs> I can't exactly do most of the heavy lifting stuff with this episode, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to sell for me just sitting here? Aha! Shift into turbo! Go! That season is horrible. If you ever have the chance to watch Power Rangers and somebody tries to introduce you to it, eh, turn it over. Yeah, the. I'm sorry. Let me finish my first thought, then I'll get into discard, how that one works. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, don't start on Power Rangers Turbo. 
Now, the discard stance is one you need to be careful of. It's not the fact that you pick up the Wiimote that registers the motion, it's that twisting feeling. That's what you need to be careful of. You need to make sure you register that, because nothing else is really going to help you there. Oh god, Big Cheese again. Bro. HA! Can't beat me, man. What, do you think I got these trophies for nothing? Oh! Yeah. There we go. See? Twisting motion again. Alright, boss stage already? Wow, this one went fast. Or am I just not paying attention to time? I guess that what happens when you're too busy talking. Now, I love this stage, because every possible way you can fail it is still funny. Like, let's say you just leave the burger there for too long. <laughs> well, that was pleasant. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one coming, did you? But what happens if you take the burger too early before the top bun falls on top of it? Ridiculous. <laughs> Give me that! You aren't supposed to take that yet. All right, let's actually try to win this time. Welcome. I just love all the random crap that falls on your burger here. Bacon, mini corn, chocolate. Mmm, chocolate fish, my favorite. <laughs> That's strange, though. This does bring up an interesting subject, though. I wonder how much nutrition actually is in a Wiimote. Nintendo, part of a balanced breakfast. Which is funny, because they actually had a cereal back when I was a kid. Okay, trained in the art of dark magic. Now Ashley's gonna take a second stab at whatever she was trying to do. What was your original intent with that spell, kiddo? And eh. Oh, jeez. Would it be too obvious to make a little Shop of Horrors joke? Yeah, this is looking a bit, a bit more like Biolanti here. <laughs> I do love that little bit at the end, though. Just that wicked little smile. Yeah, I did that. That's my creation. Uh, anyways, for beating Ashley's stage, we get a brand new minigame over here. Can Shooter. Just in case you didn't get enough with those two cans you shot there, you get a chance to shoot a bunch more. And believe me, this game can get really, really hard if you're not careful. You want to hit these things in the bullseye in the center, that's where you'll get the most points. And the interesting thing is, the ones that give you time, they'll give you more time if you hit the bullseye. So it's not just on these scoring cans either. You want to do it with everything. See, eight seconds as opposed to just five. The dynamite's a different story. You want to hit it as it's going up. I'm not sure if it's possible to shoot down the missiles before they're facing you. I've never had reactions quick enough to do it. Alright, if we're gonna be kicking up the speed here, I need to use my right hand. Uh, come on. Alright, this is the other thing I want to show off, the missile power-up. It'll automatically target anything that comes on screen and hit it in the center. Oh, and this is the time slow power up right here, the other one you might get. It slows everything down. Though, the, the odds of you actually, as you saw there, the odds of you actually getting something that's worth shooting in that time are slim to none. Uh, no! Ah, come on. As you can see, things are getting pretty quick here. You don't have time to lollygag around. You'll be quick on your feet and your mind. Quick on your mind. It's wonderful English right there. Look at this. You barely get anything to shoot during these time slow power-ups. That's the only downside to them. Yeah, I think that's just about it. So, that's everything to can shooter. You can probably get farther than I did on the score, but it's just not worth it to show on video. I'm on a time limit here, guys. I gotta move on. Especially since we've got the most musically inclined stage ahead of us right now. Welcome to Dribble and Spitz, two of my other favorite characters in this game. I don't know, something about them just seems cool. Dribble here, good to meet you. Yeah, and I'm Spitz. Our time will take you anywhere you want to go. So, where to today? I think the main, the main gimmick of Dribble and Spitz in their day has always been they've had a musical number during the stage, and it's all based around their cab and where they happen to be going. Typically with some kind of weird customer that they've got. 
There's one thing you need to learn about these stages is that nothing is what it appears to be. Hmm. I really love this little intro here. <laughs> I can imagine a sitcom with these two as well. Like a little web miniseries, like flash animations on Newgrounds or something. That'd be great. Here it's Dribble and Spits. Today turned out nice after all. Great day for a drive. What'd you say? <laughs> Not even listening. Too busy focused on the car. I see what, how it is. We drive all over the town these- We drive all over the town these days, Spits, but you never listen to me anymore. What am I to you, even? Did we just have, like, a weird Quentin Tarantino movie moment there? Like, what the hell was up with that shot? What even was that? Were they just stretching for some kind of scene transition effect? I'll give you points for creativity, but sometimes following the mold is a good thing. Ha! E.T. Watch Tubes! Phantom Bell. Turn the form baton sideways and clutch it from below in your left hand. True masters exhibit a firm grip and an exaggerated grimace. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm exaggerating it as much as I can! Uh. Mm. Ow! Ow! Wow, that actually kind of hurts. <laughs> I've never heard a case of someone smiling too hard. It's like the end of Toy Story 2. Bye bye now. Bye bye. The Mohawk. Point the tip of the form baton forward and hold it atop your head. Letting the form baton fall is like letting a Mohawk droop. Shameful and forbidden. How can you let it fall? You've got the wrist strap. Well, if you're more responsible than I am, that is. Oh, jeez. That one's a little difficult when you're sitting down. Yeah, this isn't really a game you play sitting down. There are pl If you haven't noticed, there are plenty of mini-games. Ones that we've encountered in this run, no less. In this exact video. That require you to be standing. That have those kinds of leg motions and movements. Oh. There we go. There we go. Blonde black guy. Is that the child form of Disco Kid? The janitor. Hold the form baton with both hands, as you would a mop. The left hand <laughs> represents order. Okay, if we're holding it with both hands, I would probably be doing it like. Sorry, if we're if I'm holding it like I would a mop. Wow, I completely botched my own joke. <laughs> I love that mini game, by the way. <laughs> this is the guilty little pleasure. It's kind of like throwing... Uh, me, me, medley? I, I totally forget her name now. The girl from Wind Waker, the bird girl. It's medley, right? It, this is going to be bug me all video now. I'm trying to figure out what her name was. It's been so long since I've played that game. Well, thanks to Nintendo, I'm going to be getting another chance on the Wii U here in a bit. Strike! Yeah, it's kind of like throwing that girl against the wall in Wind Waker. It's just a guilty little pleasure. It's not something you do specifically because it's fun, but just because it's something you can do once in a while to get a tiny bit of a chuckle. As long as there's no long-term ramifications. Mmm, <laughs> that steak looked good, actually. I could use a little bit of a steak right now. I'm sorry if I've been talking over the awesome music. I love that song too, but in order for me to do the camera here, uh, a little behind the scenes here. Oh geez, a little behind the scenes on this, on the way I'm doing this. I have my camera right in front of the TV. I don't know if I've explained this already, but in order to grab the sound I need off of my voice itself. I don't have one of those little microphones I can just stick on my lapel or something. 
I need to have the t volume on the TV turned all the way down. So I'm sorry I can't appreciate the awesome music with you, but it's kind of a nece necessity to do this the way I can. Oh, by the way, remember what I said about s somebody in this game having a thing about shoving fruit up noses? Yeah. That was a boss, by the way. That was supposed to be a challenge. But if you know what to do, you just completely overpower him before he can even attack and throw more rocks at you. Just a tiny little oversight in a game full of awesome little moments, though, so I'll overlook it. Wow, E.T. really do phone home! That UFO in the one minigame! Although that thing looks a lot bigger, so... Hmm. Maybe that was a friend of theirs? Huh. Hey! She didn't pay the fare! Don't! <laughs> See what I mean? I'd love a sitcom with these guys. That would be a... No joke! That would be a seriously good premise for a show. Like, just following this cab guy and all the weird people that get in his car. If you set it in a strange enough setting, that would be... That would work out for some great stories and some great comedy. Huh. You know, I'll get back to you guys on that one. I gotta end the episode anyway. So, next time on WarioWare Smooth Moves, we will go to what is possibly everyone else's other favorite, not everyone's favorite character, but everyone's favorite stage for damn sure, 9 Volt. See you guys then. Later, everybody.